Hello everybody, this is Sonia back again. Now I'm got um I'm doing this on my sewing table thing in my craft room. So I wanted to show you I'm in the process of making a lace doily wall hanging and I'm doing this for a swap so if you don't want to look at this Kerry <laughs> don't look. But anyway, so I just want to show people the the process that I've got up to so far because I thought well I need to um help you know everybody that wants to, to to know how to do these things um it's nice if they don't if they haven't done before it's nice to show people how you can get things done so all i did was put two pieces of um uh one is a piece of linen and the other is a piece of um curtaining fabric or um furnishing fabric um, I hope the lighting's all right because my light's gone in here and I can't see much. <laughs> I've got a little one here because the one at the top just burst earlier and I couldn't see. Anyway, it's a big thing. We won't worry about it now. Um, I just hope that this is all right that you can see what's going on here. Now, um, I've, I've sort of organised things how I want them to be, put them in the right places where I want them to go and I decided that I would stitch it on because I didn't want to... Um, I didn't want to be mucking about uh, with the glue because otherwise it goes goes through the holes, doesn't it? I've got a piece of, of thread there because I was just working on that bit. But I've sewn this pocket here on, and it's it doesn't take anything at all to sew on, you know, something. It's just a matter of getting a piece of thread, and I've got a greyish colour, which my mother always told me went with most things and it really does like you know you can sort of so you won't have to worry about swapping over if I use and what you'd be able to see it through on the other piece what have I done with my needle now anyway so I've got a needle here you can use whatever size needle you want it's like some people say they can't see a thread or whatever well um I don't know if I have to see anymore because I've <laughs> threaded a few <laughs> and I just thread it but anyway um that's another thing too we won't worry about that either but anyhow, so I've just put a few little stitches, I'm going to start back here from the end, around in it to hold it into place because I want it to be, um, uh, you know, secure and it's very holy so I thought I'd do that. Now, so I could get hold of it without everything moving out of the way, I rolled this up, okay? So I've rolled it up, I've got a feeling you can see my absolutely gorgeous day jammers that I wear because <laughs> I really like to feel comfortable so I do have day jammers because I don't wear them to bed but I like these things <laughs> anyway let's get on with it um so I can craft in my day jammers uh so I roll it up and that way I, I can get get hold of it properly see and also it will stay for me in good place so I can I can sew. So all you need to do is make sure you've got a hole in your uh, a hole. Make sure you've got a knot in your thread, and then you just go in and out with your needle and cotton. And it's just so easy, you know. I mean, you don't have to do anything flash. You don't have to do. It just have to make sure that each one time you go over, you catch down something of this um, doily, and that way, when you put something in there. It's not going to gape down or anything, you know, because it doesn't take really that long. Um, I'm sort of quite excited about making this because I've never done anything like this before. And so it's all a learning experience for me as well. Um, so if anybody, you know, thought they might want to try something like this, this is how I'm going about it anyway. And this hopefully will give you an idea or whatever you'd like to do. And I'm hoping that this is still in the shot. Um, there we go. I'm going to have to go and get myself some lunch. It's always lunch time. It seems to be because I've got to leave what I'm doing. But anyway, so I've sewn that down up that far. I'll just go and a couple more stitches. And then I feel secure in knowing that that's not going to come undone and all fall off the wall 
Maybe it was because one years ago when I first put things in the show, I dreamt that it'd all come undone. <laughs> Needless to say, I still I got a prize and it didn't fall apart. Because <laughs> I'm a bit... Yeah. But anyway, here we go. And just end it off a few, with a few stitches so it won't come undone. I'm a bit... Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely scissors. Here we go. Now, so that, that'll turn over there, but you've got, I've got to pop it, okay? Also, on, while I was showing you this, well, I know, I noticed anyway, I knew before I started, that there's marks on this piece of, this doily here. So I'm going to, I'm going to put other bits of doily about, you know, because I didn't want to cut that off. Um, it's all been cleaned, it just didn't come off, so... Uh, and I found these covered buttons, you know, they, they're old, but that doesn't matter. They look really cool, don't they? Put something here about there or whatever. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing today, and I'm having a bit of fun doing that. So anyway, so thank you very much everybody for watching, and as I hope that it's helped you in some way of how about putting this together, okay? I've actually sewed down the edges here. I just turned it this front one, the back one over the front one and sewed down the side. Um, by the time I'm finished you're probably not going to see much of the edges anyway but that's how I did that. Alright, so thanks everybody for watching and I hope that that gives you a little bit of an idea of how to put one of these together. I just got um, a piece of fabric, sat these on like so and I'm stitching it up as I go along. Okay, so we'll talk to you 